a slime with the head of a frog. It attacks by croaking terribly. <laughs> That's funny. You can remove six spell counters from your field, special summon this card from the Pendulum Zone, then count the number of cards you control, and have a spell counter disrupt as many cards on the field, and if you do base spell counters on the card equal to the number of cards destroyed, you can only use this effect of ending in the mighty master of magic once per turn. Once per turn when the spell slash trap card or effect is activated with effect, you can return one card from control with the spell counter in the Hey everyone, I'm Norinzio, and in this video I'm going to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist is a really good game. It has updated rules, updated cards, it goes up to Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, and that means that it has all the cards up to Vrains, and everything the game evolved into up until this point, meaning that it has Synchros, Xyz, Pendulum Summons, and Link Summons. But the great part about it is that it's split in enemies, which means that if you feel nostalgic of the old times when Yu-Gi-Oh! was more simple, and you want to remain to that period, you can do that. But staying at Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX will mean that you play only a quarter of the game, which would be a bummer. The story component of the game is told in animes. There is a menu from where you select the anime and the battle. The campaign is a series of recreated historic battles. At the start of each battle you get some story cutscenes with text but no voice acting and you have the option to play with the story deck, meaning to play with the deck that character you play as had when dueling that certain duel or you can play with a custom deck made by you. In duels, the rules are updated to match the 2021 rules, so you might be surprised that some card effects don't work as you remember from other games, but that's just minor, and you'll get used to the new rules real quick. Also some monsters have animations which in my opinion look ugly. The PSP versions had better looking CGI, and they were made between 2006 and 2015. Also, the PSP versions had dynamic backgrounds when someone was activating a field spell card. On PC, the field cards are just a static image. Also, there is something else that the PSP versions from 10 years ago had, and this game doesn't. Tag duels. It would have been cool to have the ability to tag duel, especially in online matches. But yeah, you can't do that. You can't tag duel. Why does a 2019 game lose to a game made in 2006. I mean, sure, Legacy of the Duelist is still better because it has way more cards in comparison to even the best PSP version and it has updated rules and you can link summon. But the PSP is better thought out. It has tag duels and normal duels, it even has free roam, but here with free roam I admit that it would have been really hard to make a story interesting and cohesive enough to include every Yu-Gi-Oh! edition. The way this story is split now is good, because you can see how each anime has gone to crazier and more crazier duels, but I just wanted to point out that the PSP versions feel like they were made with more care than this version. Also there is one thing I would love in a Yu-Gi-Oh game, no game had it, but I'd love to have the option, a rewind option. There were plenty of times in any Yu-Gi-Oh game I played that I mispressed a button and I was like, no, no, no. <coughs> I wish you could rewind the last move you make. For the moments when you are hasty and sacrifice the wrong monster for a tribute summon or summon a monster you didn't want it to summon or press to activate a card in the prompt and now you have to roll with it. I wish there was a rewind feature in New Guild, but that's just a dream of mine but I can't hold anything against the game, aside of tag duels. The game is really good, and a must have for any Yu-Gi-Oh player. You can simulate real life matches by rebuilding the same decks in the game, and this way you can build the meanest, strongest deck ever, and if you don't want to simulate real life matches, you can try beating the game by having a bad deck at first and buying cards with in-game points to gradually get better and better cards, and grind yourself from the first Yu-Gi-Oh game, which was simpler, to the crazy matches in Vrains. Any way you put it, if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a must have. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. 
If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.